So here it is, folks. You all see it. We got the classic Nike Air Max 1 in this very dope, clean, original colorway. This right here is that Obsidian colorway. And this particular release was set to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 1. And, yo, I'm glad that Nike decided to re-release these. And I was able to get my hands on a pair and add them back into the collection. What I'm going to do with this particular video is give y'all a quick overview of the shoe. Point out things that I like about the sneaker. And give y'all a shot to do the same at the end. Y'all already know how I do it. So let's just jump right into it. Nike Air Max 1 originally released... Back in 87 and still looking doper than ever. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely, a lot of folks will say, yo, this shoe's a classic, that shoe's a classic. This shoe is the definition of a classic sneaker, a classic trainer. The Air Max 1, this Obsidian, man, is, I don't know, man. I don't know really, as far as like with Air Maxes, if you've been a follower of this show, of this channel, now, you would know that I'm a big fan of the Air Maxes, like, without a doubt. Now, you got a lot of people who do sneaker videos who, around a certain time of the year, March, <laughs> they'll all of a sudden become just big Air Max heads. And you know that you're following the trend within the past couple of years. But with me, I featured a lot of Air Maxes on the channel. You can go back and check out my videos in case you missed them. But this particular one is one of my favorites. I would say probably all the time. Like, if I was to rank them... Of course, the Air Max 90 Infrared is my favorite Air Max all time. And then you have the Air Max 95 Neons will probably come in at number two for me. But for number three, I probably would go with these right here, these Obsidian Air Max 1s. It's something about them, like, they just, it's simple, but it's very, for me, it's like, it's, it's just a nice, well-put-together shoe. The colors, the Air Max 1 is just a dope silhouette in its own right. And I like the way the shoe just comes together, man. Everything meshes. Like from the Visible Air Unit, I'm a huge fan of the Visible Air Unit if you follow this channel. I've talked about it many times. The Visible Air Unit is one of the, I, I could say it's one of the like um, features of the Nike shoe in general that kind of changed the game. Because when they added this unit, like you kind of see it as like a, a staple feature. You've seen them on Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, Air Trainers. Like, I could go on and on, and, you know, as time has progressed, they have made improvements on the whole air unit. You know, shit, these days, the, the air unit is like a whole full 360. But this simple, just visible air unit right here, I think, was a game changer, and I definitely like how it just looks on this shoe. It definitely gives it just a different dimension when you look at the shoe in general. Now, the color blocking scheme is another one of my favorite aspects of the shoe, like, as far as, like, how everything was well put together from the midsole. You got the midsole white. Then you have this right here, this new buck obsidian that wraps around the damn near the whole shoe. Underlaying that, you have this neutral gray new buck. And then you have this white nylon mesh. White laces up on the tongue. I like the Nike Air Max branding. I believe that's, like, a university red that... That's the uh, shade of red that they went with on this shoe. See the toe box, the nylon mesh, of course. Here's the medial look at the shoe. Very dope, right? You know, gives a classic look. Clean, simple, sharp at the same time, though. Definitely gets my sharp stamp of approval. Let's look at the bottom. See the bottom, old school traction pad on the trainer. Old school traction. It's basic, you know what I'm saying? This is, I don't know if you consider this a runner or a trainer, gym shoe, whatever. See the Nike Air branding right there on the white? Very nice, man. Very nice. It's classic. Nike Air branding on the back stitched over the neutral gray new buck. And then you got the white nylon mesh. Of course, the obsidian on the bottom on top of that white mesh. So, insole got some Nike Air branding as well. I got a little sticker in there. Let's take it to the box. Box top Nike Air branding on the top. 30th anniversary as well. And inside, I want to show you the inside real quick. They put a little something in here to commemorate the Air Max 1 anniversary. And it says, on March 26, 1987, something more than a shoe was born. The Air Max 1 was like nothing we've seen before. Visible Air started a revolution over the next 30 years. It captured the imagination of dreamers. 
and push the boundaries of what was possible. In 2017, as Spirit is still alive, join us as we celebrate this milestone and look forward to pushing boundaries for the next 30 years. I thought that was pretty cool they put that in there, commemorating the Air Max 1. Here you have the, on this the other shoe, and it has a Nike Air Hang tag, laces, extra set of laces. Just a dope shoe, man. Dope shoe. Oh, you know, I didn't even really notice on here, but even on the paper, it has some detail with the Nike, Nike branding on it as well. Let's take it over to the box sticker. Another Nike Air branding on the box top on the side. Here's the box sticker. Nike Air Max 1 Anniversary, white and dark obsidian. No box sticker price tag because this is a international release pair. So these, they release, I'm going to say it was December 15th. And I wanted to get them on release date, you know what I'm saying, stateside. But I wasn't able to on the app. They released them on the app, and I kind of took it for granted. I thought that they were probably going to sit because I didn't. I couldn't remember how the last two releases had done. They previously released uh, some Air Max anniversary, 30th anniversary pairs earlier in the year. They released the red and white and the blue and white pair. The, those are clean too, but this is my favorite one out of those three without a doubt. So when I found out that these were dropping, I was like, you know, I'm going to go after them, but then I wasn't just on it like that. So by the time I went to the app, they were sold out. But um, luckily, I was able to, you know, snatch up a pair overseas, holler at the plug, got these shipped out to me. These actually came from Germany, got shipped out from Germany. But shit, they in my position now. So definitely a dope pickup, man. Glad I was able to add these back. One of the reasons I'm very glad I was able to add these back to the collection was because I had these, I actually had this shoe like a few years ago. And uh, I remember when I got them, I was like, damn, I had been sleeping on Air Max 1s for all this time. This was just a dope pair when I had it in my hand. But unfortunately, I didn't have it for a long time because if y'all followed the channel, you would know like a few years ago, I had a fire and I lost a few pairs. And this was one of the pairs that I lost. And I was kind of tight about it, but, you know, I didn't replace them because the prices that people were asking for was outrageous. In my opinion, I wasn't finna pay them prices for this shoe. And uh, even they kind of re-released them, like a certain type of version of them. Not exactly the same, but they kind of re-released a version of them. Uh, if y'all remember, there was like this Air Max patch pack that they had released like a, a few years ago. And I was kind of go after them, but there was only one difference. I remember with the, where this new buck is. It's obsidian. It was like a kind of like a hyperfused material. I wasn't too crazy about that, but the shoe pretty much looked like how it was supposed to look, you know, for the most part, except for that part right there. But I was like, you know, shit, I don't know when they were going to drop these again. And those other pairs was getting older. So I would definitely wasn't finna pay no crazy price for them like that. So I said, shit, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I struck out on those pairs. Uh, I went after them because I even talked about them on the channel one video. I can't remember where. But, I, you know, I wanted them, but they were limited, struck out, wasn't going to pay no crazy price for them. And, uh, but shit, you know, hey, I got them in my possession right now, so I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm Gucci. And that's, I just say that to say this, man. When it comes to these sneakers, just have patience. You know, it took me a little while to get them back in the, you know what I'm saying, in my collection. But shit, I got them, and I got them for retail. That's the crazy thing. I mean, there was no, uh, there was no sticker price on these, but these retail, I think, stateside are like 140 I got them for 139 you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so I think, you know, sometimes just having patience just works out in the end, you feel me? Now, if you feel like, you know, and I, I'm saying this more so to, like, the younger generation because I know sometimes you might feel like you struck out on a release or something like that, but, you know, you just have patience. You know, sometimes, you know, you you might have a regret. You pull the trigger on a deal, and you might have a second thoughts about it, and you might regret it later down the line. Unless you know you ain't going to have no regrets, man, just have patience, man. The shit will come back around to you. Somebody might give it to you for a better price. Or they Nike, if it's a Nike, man, they might just bring them back out because that's what Nike been doing lately. They just been bringing shit out, like, super fast, more faster than they used to do back in the past. But like, this particular shoe has, or some sort of form of this shoe has at least released, like, three times within the last six or seven years. So just think about it. 
or even less than that, probably within like the last four or five years or so, this shoe was probably released like three times, some sort of type of version with it. Now, I did notice some differences with my pair, with this pair right here, between this one and the last pair that I had. The, the air bubble on this one is clear. Now, on the last pair I had, I believe it was red. It has some color in there inside, but I actually like it clear like this. It just looks more neater. It looks more sharper to me. I'm I'm assuming that the red was more closer, was like how the original was, but I like it clear like this, so that's no big deal to me. And my last pair also on the bottom, it just had all this like white stuff on the bottom of it that I just wasn't too fond of, and I believe they did that because the shoe was supposed to, it was like an OG pack they had released that year. So, you know, they tried to make it look vintage with the, um, just, I don't know, some kind of like, something they did with the, the finish on the outside, put some white. It looked like, kind of like powdery. It just looked like the shoe was messed up. Like, just imagine if you bought like some, you ever open like an old chocolate bar or something like that and it just had like, kind of just be ashy and have like you know what I'm saying some white shit all over it like it was something like that just imagine like if you bought some um shit I, I can't remember something that had like a black sole some kind of shoe with a black sole and you open it and it just had like all kind of white stuff on the bottom or something that was just how they they made the shoe to kind of give it a vintage look I can't remember if the midsole was off white on those because I know that's what they were doing with some of the shoes in that pack I think my Air Max 1's and my uh, the red and white ones. I have the red and white ones. I did a video. That's one of my first earlier videos back in the day. You can probably, I think I still have that up on the channel. Uh, the red and white Air Max ones, and I think they're infrared nineties from back then too. The that was an OG pack, and I think they had like kind of off white the the midsole to make it look old or whatever. But this one looks clean. Like I like how this shoe looks. Very dope. And that's it. That's all I got for this video. If you have, uh, let me know what you think about these. Let me know down in the comment box. If you picked them up, let me know how your purchase went. Were you satisfied with your purchase? I pretty much gave y'all, you know what I'm saying, what I think about the shoe. I think the shoe is dope. I think it's clean. I think it's a classic without a doubt. You know, I, it's really not too much to say about the shoe. It's just a sharp sneaker. You know what I mean? Glad that I was able to get them. Color blocking scheme. I like the Nike Air branding that's all over the shoe. And it's just, you know, the Air Max 1 silhouette to me is just dope. In its own right. So, that's it. That's all I got for this video. Yo, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. You like the video. I really appreciate that. If you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And shout out to everybody who's still rocking with your boy, who's been rocking with the channel. Yo, shit, man. We're going to get to it, man. Uh, I got a top 10 video on the way. For this year, stay tuned for that. My top 10 picks. And uh, as far as my pickups. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. More random sneaker boxes. More sneaker pickups to come. Sneaker discussions. All that good stuff, man. But in the meantime and in between time, y'all stay cool. Check it out. Always remember, copy what you like. Not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.